Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today we'll be on the New International Version. <clears throat> Last night, our computer started acting up. I was watching a movie, and the movie just paused, and it wouldn't move. And it's a smart TV, so it's, you know, got to do with the internet now. And so it stopped. Our cell phone stopped, our home phone stopped, and her computer stopped. And it stayed that way all night. And this morning, everything's working except my desktop. Where I do the videos now. So, it still won't connect online. And when it does connect online, it only stays on for 24 seconds and then disconnects again. And I can't figure out why. Do you guys have any ideas? I have no idea because, I mean, it was completely fine all this time until then. And I haven't done anything to it or anything. But I was able to get the page pulled up on here for the Bible reading. So at least I can, you know, read it. And then I should be able to download it on the phone. So let's go ahead and get this done. And the same way I can do the Bible study because I do it with the Bible itself. So I won't need the computer for that one. Uh, don't mind this. It's just, I just got a little boo-boo. Got a band-aid there. Okay. So today we'll be reading in the New International Version. And we'll be reading Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32, reading through chapter 12, verse 13, Psalm 112, and Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. Okay, so let me get down there to Hebrews. Okay. Looks like a pretty short reading today. So let's go ahead and get started with Hebrews. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Japheth, about David and Samuel and the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms and ministered justice and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to life again. There were others who were tortured refusing to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging and even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two. They were killed by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith. Yet none of them received what had been promised, since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, 
so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. God disciplines his children. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline, and do not lose heart when he rebukes you, because the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children. For what children are not disciplined by their father? If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters at all. Moreover, you have all had human fathers who disciplined us when we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the father of spirits and live? They disciplined us for a little while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. Make level paths for your feet, so that the lame may not be disabled, but rather healed. Amen. All right, guys. Now let's read our psalm for today, Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. For those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous, good will come to those who are generous and lend freely who conduct their affairs with justice. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They will have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. All right, guys. And that was our psalm today. trying to get the internet to connect no such luck all right and proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 as iron sharpens iron so one person sharpens another all right guys i hope you guys have a great rest of your day if you have any idea of what's going on with my computer internet here please let me know a little thing keeps popping up and every now and then. It looks like a little cord. And it says, Eject Realtek Wireless LAN 802 USB 2.0 Network Adapter. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so if you have any idea, let me know. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I shouldn't say that because the computer, I might not even get the page pulled up. I'll see you guys 
God willing, sometime soon with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.